How to disinfect wounds when the world is ended, you tripped over a mutant rat, and infection is your new grim reaper. You're bleeding, again. The good news, the bleeding stopped. The bad news, whatever gnawed on that rat probably left a welcoming committee of microscopic horrors in your open flesh wound. No pharmacies, no sterile wipe, just you, the stink of decay, and the creeping dread of sepsis. Don't whine, we're making antiseptic from whatever festering nature coughs up. Step one, find some leafy stuff. Anything bitter, stinky, or vaguely medicinal looking. Dandelions, plantain, that weird moss growing on the corpse of a minivan? Go nut, rip it up, mash it, use a rock, your boot heel, the skull of that ride if you're feeling poetic. Now, add questionable liquid, stale rainwater, puddle juice, the last dregs of that energy drink you found? Doesn't matter, germs are already invited to the party. Mix it into a gruesome paste. Science-ish bit, some plants have compounds that can kill or slow down bacteria. The nasty liquid helps extract them. Think of it as as nature's punishment for open wounds in a world try to kill you. Slather that green-brown goop onto your injury. If it burns like hell, good, means something's fighting back. If nothing happens, well, congrats on your placebo mud. If you don't get a raging fever in the next 24 hours, congrats, you might just live to see tomorrow's sunrise or the next nuclear winter. Survival is messy and often smells like compost.